And then we're gonna join the call. Just gonna give it a few minutes just to wait around a little bit. See if anybody joins. No one joins and uh, I can just chat and then um, you know it's all recorded. I can get doing stuff. Let me just see where enough people are anywhere. No, not it's a Monday, isn't it? So um, people are in places. So I don't know if I'm. Um, I think that's just showing me that is online. Let's have a go on the on the socials. See if anyone's coming. Uh, still one person, which is me. I'm just keeping it all off there. So. Just got to admit that people log in or grandparents finally or, <laughs> you know, at least I'm getting some really cute um, videos of my cats on the iPad of when she was wee icky picky and no broken leg. So, um, <laughs> at least I've got that keeping me company. <laughs> just whilst I'm waiting to be fair I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do today because I have started um, a drawing but um, I don't know if uh, I want to carry on with that I can at least you know show you guys anyway what I'm doing um, and then I've got another idea of um, so found this really cute like pumpkin at in autumn time at um, Primark so I've already filled it with a few um, uh, like keywords and stuff like that so it's one of them I could either just do a quick hour draw um, of a word and then you know do that or I can finish off this picture just trying to get everything charged up and ready to go because I'm scatterbrains and I thought well let's just be scatterbrains for a bit until I've got money and I can be <laughs> professional sort of thing but um but yeah I have a feeling that It is going to be me just for a momento. Let's have a look if anybody on here is seeing anything. Doesn't look like anybody on um I know some people have seen it. So Hopefully somebody will join halfway through this. But at the end of the day, it's just one of those ones I've started doing this filming uh, more for me and to document it so that at least every week I can um, sit down and make myself draw. It's a better backdrop this time, minus the, the cat window cage, which um, could be quite fun in summer. Again, I'm going to have to try and buy... Um, 
webcams to be able to do this. I was really hoping that some were security cameras because they're like USB plugs. That some of them would work and I can just, because I've already bought them, so if I could use them, but it doesn't look like um, in the uh, OBS, it doesn't seem to locate them. Let me just have another, let me have another go at OBS to see if it can. Window caps device, let's just see if there's anything there. Yeah, it's only showing the one which is you guys there. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to um, invest in something at some point. Let me just make sure I'm not deleting the wrong one. There we go, yes, yeah, this one. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm just, I'm not gonna touch anything until you know this is done, sort of thing. So um, yeah. So yeah, this is the other side of my office. I have got another light set up on the other side. It's got um a few bits and bobs, but maybe I I need to work on this side. It's because I put all the pressure stuff behind you, because that's where the sun doesn't go. So it's like. I need to do a switch around, but yeah, you can see some of my um, little figurines, my friend's picture. I need to put some in there. Then I've got uh, a special teacup, some of my hardbacks, um, the rings from um, Abhorsum that my brother 3D printed for me. Uh, this is a very special award because through COVID, um, I did a lot of like. Um, whiteboard sketch video things for work uh, and yeah they gave me a award it doesn't help that it's glass though does it because you can't see it but if I pick it up and then I stand in front of it because you know here's my little award so at least I've got something to show for my career and then, yeah, just got, um, you know, my Abhorsome series. I don't think there's any other um, hardback books of the Old Kingdom for me to get. But I felt like it was a hat occasion today. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it could be, you know, wear a different hat. And then, um... That's me in Spain. I think there's like a observatory or something somewhere. So that's a, a big picture of me on a motorbike that um, um, someone took when I was on holiday with my ex. It's one of those ones. I, I do I do really appreciate the, the picture. It's just, it is massive. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a showy off person. So like, to have a picture that big, I'm like, I'm not art. It's taking up room where some art could go, <laughs> you know? So it um, it was really nice of them. I do appreciate it, but um, yeah. Anyway, doubling on. Uh, so yeah, so I think first, let's just show you um, what I have been working on. Really sorry, it's probably going to end up looking upside down, but again, this is just all I have until you know I can get some up better. Um, oh, if you haven't already, go get yourself a brew. I have an amazing cup collection, so every time you sit down, I'm going to try my hardest to sit down with a different mug. So today it is pumpkins, but I like to live life. I really fancy my tea because it's like I've got the Chinese um is it everyday breakfast? Because it always makes me feel like my house is a holiday because you always get Chinese on holiday, don't you? Sort of like fancy whatever. But it's just what can I say? I'm a I'm a fancy tea bitch. <laughs> it's just I just like Chinese. 
So, yeah, I was also trying to use my phone as a webcam so that um, we could like down view this time. But again, my brother's very kindly lent me his very old computer and it only works so much. And it's and it probably would work, it's just that. The computer is under me as Windows and everything I own is Apple. Yes, I know, Apple is expensive, but it's just easy to use, or at least it's easy for me. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that too. So, um, yeah, I'll first I'll um, show you what I've been working on. So, let's do that. So, Let's see if we can get a, a slightly better angle, maybe, because then I can just zoom you straight in there. To be fair, this is probably quite a, you know an okay angle anyway. If um you know in future I just want to zoom in, I wonder if I can zoom you in here. You know, let's just learn learn on the deep end sort of thing. So, is that looking bigger on your side? I wonder. There we go. It is getting bigger. So yeah, I'll just zoom you in. So hold on to your horses. Professionalism coming in hot. <laughs> I wonder if I can. Um, rotate you as well. Uh, preview scaling, no, don't want that. I think I can. There we go. So in a really weird way, sorry, sorry. Oh, look, I'm all doubled. There we go. So that's a bit better, isn't it? Do you? So now I can just draw away. So um, and at least everything's like you know, the right way up. So, um, the other week I saw um, an amazing, like shooting star sort of thing. Hey Chris, but um, so I thought you know I need to commemorate it, so. And it just made me think of Howl's Moving Castle when I saw it and, you know, to draw out. So, and I just really like, like, the blues and the colours. This is basically, like, yeah, I do really well. I could probably put this in the living room or something, you know, because I'm that vain. Oh, look, you can see a reflection of me. Hello, see my chin. Um, but, yeah, I just really like the colours and, like, the aesthetic of it. So... I drew this out and you know what, shall we just watch through the um, uh, time lapse replay first? Just so you guys can see, you know, how I was um, like, well, this is basically, I was drawing all of this um, at D&D &D the other week. Freaking love d and I can't, <laughs> you know, it's just amazeballs. So, um, and whilst we were like having fun with that, you know, I was just in a mood to um, do some drawing. I thought, you know what, I could wait until today to show you guys this. But I thought, I might as well just start drawing it out now. And then it's, you know, it's a good base to go with. And you can see, you know, how I work and stuff. She will probably be clothed. Um, it's just that I always work in the, like, the, the sort of like the body of something first before um you know i get um like into it uh so yeah this is probably far yeah we've not got too long left so i just sort of like i'm really loose and i just sort of push stuff around until i feel like it looks good and to be fair i really enjoy starting um on this lady's hair sort of thing um and yeah i was just by the end because i was busy in the game I was just wanting to work on you know trying to emulate this I'll probably leave it in a little bit um well put that aside whilst I'm drawing out the character um um so I was having a, cup, a sip of my tea 
and you too should do that too because <laughs> you know hydration uh, and I think that's it then so now um, I wonder actually is my um, I just double check that it is on charge yeah so now I think all that's left to do is um so yeah that's the that's where I got to I made it a little smaller I was working quite big so I was like oh I'll do all the light but I think actually um it works quite well small I need to maybe try and emulate that a little bit more and um, so I really like the shape of that so I guess this time round with us I think it will probably be um working on the you know hands and stuff bloody hands I will probably put this lady in the stockings just so that I don't have to draw toes because toes ugh. um and um yeah so this is actually going to be like a proper drawing session with you guys today because you know last week it was just talking about you know um what it is that you know I have done previously just sort of like as a sketchbook showcase sort of thing so um so yeah grab a cuppa and let's start drawing hands and if that's the only thing I get done in this next hour I guess you know woohoo so um and if you've just joined I was saying before um I have uh quite a few mugs <laughs> So um, each week I'll try and have um, a different mug going. Let me just hide all these for now. Um, I'll move all these into a group actually because that will probably make it easier. So we'll just reference stuff. And we are on the drawings. So, um, so yes, yeah, so now let's get into the, the hands one of those ones I'm sure with Procreate I've asked it to do um, you know the pen hover and stuff but I don't know if it's just that it's my um, old device or whatever Darn it's saying call it brush cursor yeah advanced ones show both show while hovering no so um I think it's a uh, show both. Or is it because I don't know. Let's just get into it. So um, that's one finger. I just thought um, the circles, like whilst they're good for me to like map out my hands and stuff. Sometimes, like the inner stuff, it just sort of like like there's something about those fingers that just don't quite um, feel like fingers, if you get me. So I hate hands, <laughs> which I think every artist ever, maybe other than like Michelangelo or somebody will probably say otherwise so let's get the one thing that I wish Procreate would do would be that it would remember what um pens you had for the different canvases sort of thing because it's like I was doing some other work and yeah so let's see so if I try to use my own hand but obviously so she's facing up so her little fingers are going out <laughs> this is like, <laughs> how does my hands look? So like, let's have a look. So, so this is probably actually. Uh, actually, a bit, and then the knuckle comes into here. So the knuckles. Are, so I've pretty much put the knuckles in the right spot. So that's good to know. So you know, I do know, I do remember a little bit of anatomy. <laughs> and then uh, that is a bit more rounder. Let's just get some of this out of the way. And then it's like, you know, I want to do like fun hands. So it's like, 
Oh, I've got some magic, so... Let's have a look. So this finger is kind of here, here, and then maybe there. This one is then in front, but following the same. So that's there, there, and there. But I'm hoping that um, in the future I can like maybe like have some music on in the background. I think um, I've been sent uh, a link very kindly by a colleague at work. Um, there is a way, let me see, this comes to there, then that goes to about there, and then a little finger comes out there. I will probably have to make these a little fatter. There we go. I think this also needs to be, either that needs to go up, or that, that. Because little fingers are quite in proportion. But yes, yeah, so I was given a link to some software. Um, that will record um, like for OBS so that I can record sound but it doesn't record the audio so then I can then put it straight onto um, uh, photos uh, Photoshop I've got brain jargon on so yeah so the hand is as long as the finger so if you go like that and then that so actually Oh, this is the right size, but then this needs to go up a bit longer, and then maybe like that. But it's one of those ones. It's like when I'm at home, I can talk to myself all day long, and then as soon as I'm like in the camera or whatever. It's like, oh no, I lose my voice. How do I talk? What do I want to talk about? Like, at work, they probably can't shut me up. <laughs> and I don't know what you guys would be interested to hear about. Like, this weekend, um, I'm not going to mention names, but went shopping with one of my bezies, and, you know, it was really nice. And we were just saying, like, you know, if I couldn't do art, I'd probably be like a professional hype woman because I just love hyping people up. I don't know what it is. It's just, I just really like celebrating people and like making them feel good. So I don't know how good that pay would be. But, you know, I just, not that you have to be paid, but we were just saying like if I picked a different job, what would it be? Because I've, I've done so much um, you know retail work and stuff like that I just don't think I could go back to selling shoes for the rest of my life you know if I heaven forbid needed to find another job sort of thing well that's not too bad actually but I think when I get into the next details I'll probably add a bit of something to these um to these hands because I think they could do with being a wee bit thicker um sorry tea break hello basios <laughs> if that's how you pronounce it um it's one of those ones I kind of know who's um <laughs> who's coming on screen, but I don't know how you guys feel if um I actually say your name sort of thing. So um and now this one's a bit easier because this would be the hand. So it's like I've got that one. Then maybe do I do that? So. 
but yeah so it was really nice actually just hanging out with my friend like there might be a house it's one of those ones you know like you have those like well it's probably just me but you have like those spreadsheets of like if i was to win a million what would i do and i would uh move well move in next door to my busy and have like a friendship holiday home next to her sort of thing but i don't know actually where i would go because i've sort of ended up in um Shifnal and i've always thought like oh um would i move for a job sort of thing but one i'm too scared to do that because it's just me you know earning to live in this house but um but who knows if the right opportunity came up maybe i would relocate but um um but yeah so now i'm just i always use my own hand as reference you know when drawing these things because well at the end of the day your hands are well your hands are there and it's one of those ones you know be kind to yourself and just use what you've got sort of thing so yeah but um anyway we were just chatting about like um you know what would you do if you won loads of money and it's one of those ones as a kid you talk about you know like oh if i was to win a million stuff i would like retire and you know i think my hand is getting into the screen sensitivity but um you'd be like oh i'd like quit my job and i would just travel the world whereas nowadays um <laughs> a million wouldn't really get you very far would it so, it's one of those ones, I'm not even sure if I've found my own style with my art yet. I don't, it's like, you know, when you feel like you don't have a style and then you see, like, someone else, like, you know, like your handwriting, and you don't think you've got a style, and then you see someone else, um, write, and you're like, oh, actually, no, I, I do have a style, but I don't even know if my style's any good, but... And either way, this is just, this is all meant to be just like me, just having fun, getting back into the love of art, because for years I've had like chronic pain and stuff from my carpal tunnel syndrome. I've had the surgery, but there might be um, a, a relapse of it, unfortunately, so waiting for tests on that. Um... Let's have a look. This fingernails. If I go quiet, it's just because my brain is trying. Like, like sometimes I'm amazing at multitasking, then other times I'm just like, no, <laughs> I can't say two words and all. But it's weird when it's like like when I was first starting this in um, D and D. I'm sure, you know, I was chatting and, oh, I like the spiky finger hands. Um, I'm sure I was chatting and it was all fine, but I'm not too sure what, um, what outfit. Let's have a, let's have a quick sketch. So I think, shall we do like, you know, like sort of, you know, lopsided socks sort of thing. And then maybe have some socks here. It's one of those ones, it's like, I always like to, um, or do we want to have it go up and over, you know? Sort of like, I don't know why I'm getting like French made, sort of like, you know, stocking, um, stocking thing, but, um, what clothes shall we put her in? Because it's that thing of, I don't want to like do too much but I don't want to lose too much of it either like do we do like um well I guess <coughs> well she'll have some form of like sleeve thing to be fair there's this um company what um holy is it holy clothing or something and they have some amazing um 
dress ideas. So let's just get some um, get some inspo. I always do this. I'm just like, oh, I know they're really pretty um, dresses and stuff. So and I'd love, oh, like that would be like, oh, actually, we could do that actually. That one, that sort of thing might be a cool idea. That's just so that's a uh, an under booby but anyway I was trying to say I would love just like one or one of everything <laughs> from this from this company I think I've sort of built my own um, uh, and then it's got skirt so that's an idea let's have a quick look at the other dresses it's like that one no I wish I looked like that for that dress. That would be amazing. And like you can be um, just I just want to be a warrior lady. Even that's really pretty, but I don't feel like it's really um this style. Or well, that one. That would be like sort of like a lady in well, lady in the woods, lady in the woods picture. But yeah, so I won't look too much into that because we don't want to gain um, too much influence. But at least if we have like, well, maybe we could have like a skirt so that you can still have like maybe like this bit here. I need to find my um. I've got a my brother's just got me a sketching thing for glove. So. Let's see. Do you want to do something like that so it then follows the. where it can go. So I'm trying to think like. So this one will be around here. So it probably be like there. Comes around. And then we'll do that so it follows the body. And then that to follow everything else around, maybe like that. And then that can loop around and put a few creases in, floaty stuff. And then do we just put her in some little shorts maybe? Just because then, yeah, we'll do some shorts, but maybe with a little at the side maybe a bit bigger just because I don't know I always like leaving the figures in because it's like I spend that long trying to get the proportions um down on these women I'm like I don't want to just go and hide what it is that they're wearing and I don't want to do too much but then I don't want to do too little because it's always that fine line of um, you get to a point and you just you just sort of lose track of what it was that you were trying to do. So I don't know now if that just looks like a puddle. Let's just but then that doesn't feel big enough. So this bit let's start you again so if this comes round this I'll have to follow at least some of it and then that will go sometimes it's good to try and space out so I guess you could do that then there That will go round and then down here, round there like that. So if we get rid of this, what does that look like now? And then go up there like that maybe instead. Because it's that you just sort of know when things look a little off maybe then some do we want ok 
goofy. Like the sort of like, oh, you know what, maybe like the bracier sort of thing. You've got the slit down the side, maybe that's the hole. Uh, which way would you tie it up? Top or bottom? Probably top so you could do, you know, tassely things. Tassely things over here, so that's there, so that will be tassely thing on the top. Like that. Those tassels though would probably annoy me. I'd probably get them in all my soups. <laughs> uh, and this is the fun part now. Let's go poofy. Poofy. Fortunately her shoulders are going to be um, hidden. But oh well. This side will be a bit more fitted because obviously she's folding. And that's just how her hair takes forming. Yeah, I like that. With a bit of sleeve. Let's just merge that down because I'm gonna I think I'll stick with that. Out. It's funny how it's like at the beginning, you're like, I don't know what I want to do. And then it's like, oh yeah, now I know. I'm getting, when I, in my head, I'm getting like, um, you know, um, oh, oh, what's the word? You know, it's always at the end of the day, I, I know what, in my head I have the picture. Is it Van Helsing? I don't know what her name was but I loved her outfit in Van Helsing with the like the corset thing. No a little bit of me just wants to get rid of that. That's where her body was. Maybe we just make this bigger with side bits coming out. And then that can be there. I don't know what emblem we should use. Something moony maybe. And then we can follow the diamonds down there then, can't we? And it just gives it a little something. And that sleeve will come out there. It's, it's been a long day today so I'll probably only stay on for the hour rather than two hours but I think I'll probably just end up doing um if I could I don't know if it's something like we start these together today and then throughout the week I'll finish it off and then I'll show you the um the draw through and then we can then start sketching something together but to be fair I kind of liked um uh my initial sketching in D and D because it's like you can you've got people in front of you, haven't you, to you know bounce ideas off and stuff. Looks like she's been punched. And again, she can have a crooked nose. It's all natural, isn't it? So um. 
میشه که من خیلی به سراب کیپ سورف تاپان But yeah, I'm really in the mood to do like um I wanna watch a few of the um studio Ghibli's. So I was just watching um Cinema Therapy and they were looking at Ashitaka and um completely butchered that name, but um Ashitaka and um Princess Monarchy. And seeing how he's really good at helping people but sticking to his values too and I'm just really enjoying listening to um, uh, the um, the guys that do the um so I'm just trying to find so I know there is a, a thing kind actually that I think um is it free down to Fall down, no. Just one there's a command to um, flip the canvas. But I can't remember what it is. I'm sure I'll learn it someday. Guess the controls, where is it? Assisted drawing. No quick menu. Okay, so it's um touch and hold. There you go. I knew it was somewhere. <laughs> I like to flip every now and again because it just makes me think like, oh yeah, actually that nose could be. Could move and stuff like that. Uh, those eyes look a little bit too big. And too big, or is it just the head? It might just be the head, you know. So let's get back to drawing. My hands turned out all right actually. It's one of those ones I could spend all day to perfect them. Um, but then, you know, you know what, I just want to centre this now. Do -do. So I can get a better grasp of where everything is. So I want to do, um, I'll probably do another, do I need that layer anymore, no. So now, it's then just getting back into more finer details, but I don't know if I want to go detaily with the brush and do some fine detail work and then ink it in or do I just want to go procreate pencil what do you no I don't like you no so I want it to look um, maybe Howl's Moving Castle-esque HB 
Not sure you do well with that. Can I get rid of some of that um texture I wonder? Grey. Oh, is that mine? Because I don't like pressing too hard, because again, this is the rust I've had um, surgery on. I just want to have... Yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll do like a sketchy thing. So let's... Um, so I think, I think the thing that's getting me is because you've got this round bit here, and I think she looks a little bit... Ooh! Like she's scared rather than like... sexy eye sort of thing. Let's just see what this looks like. So she's looking down over here. big anime eyelashy things I don't know if you're gonna draw or maybe draw someone that looks similar to you we might as well go all out mightn't we with the extensions look Well, I think um, Spirited Away, uh, seeing Princess Monarchy, they're um, like the OG ones, aren't they? I think I've watched all of them um, at one point because I know through COVID, me and my brother, you know, there's not a lot else to do, is there? Or was there? So I know we, drew, we, we just thought, oh, let's watch... Um, Watch all the Studio Ghibli's because, you know, we've got time. So, but yeah, I really want to do, um, do another one. I don't know when, because it's again, it's just trying to find the time. You know, all these hands in these pies with drawing and then work and, you know, just finding time to hang out with the cats and, because at the moment, Monty, my little one, she's needing um, 45 minutes physiotherapy in the morning, then 45 minutes in the evening. I think I've sort of worked it out at the moment. Um, I've got a, a nice routine at the moment. I do like big bushy eyebrows. I think I like big bushy eyebrows because, like for me, you don't have to. You don't have to pluck them as much then. <laughs> So all my ladies have low maintenance size. I still haven't seen the um is it the Kid and the Crow film? I think something in Crow, Child and Crow, it's the latest one that he's done because you know, he can't just retire. He has to get back into it doesn't he um, is it oh, I can't pronounce it not whilst I'm concentrating at the very least and then you might want to go there like that I'm 
kind of give a like a bit of a original nose just for a bit of something different so I could do my nose and a lot of my artwork end up, ends up looking like me but I don't mean for it to end up looking like me you know that one let's do a bit of a copy and paste for horizontal let's just this in then I can use it as a bit of a copy and paste just means I get the um, proportions right whilst I um, redraw it out because again if, you, if you've got a device that can help you rather than just suffer the process you might as well use all these techniques to help you draw fortunately nobody either today he was asleep on the cat tower downstairs when I came up and I think he might not be very well either because he's had a bit of a I don't know if it's just because I left at the weekend and maybe he had a bit of um, cat anxiety but he hasn't had a very good tummy or he's managed to get up on the side and you know lick the um, lick some of the cream off something because brother made him um, like a tiramisu chocolate cake the other day so he might have got up and like licked the um, Like the spoon or something, and cats aren't very good with um, dairy, are they? So I think he's he's feeling his tummy. That or um, the next door dog has a little bark going through the the fence. So again, he might be a bit nervy today. So. Yes, the boy and the heron. I still not um. I still want to see that. I don't know if it was. It was probably out in cinema, like the small ones. I don't know if it's still out somewhere. But um. But then again, I can't really afford much, because um. Because of Monty's um antics using up all my money to get her fixed but she's worth it because she's a little love so maybe those cheeks are I'm getting I'm starting to get like Chloe Deville vibes and I want like nice wholesome girl vibes it might just be the eyes, but I'll do the, um, I'll do the, the, the sketch lines first, and then we'll see, um, see how it looks at the end, because then I can, I just basically keep, drawing on top of layers top of layers till either two feel like they make up the right um two or one make up the right feeling that I'm going for so well, we've got 10 minutes now so that shape is still very I think I was just trying to Let's just do that and cut that off. Let's go flip. So it doesn't look too bad that way, but I'd probably say like, um, this is why it's good to flip your canvas. 
because it it just shows you shows all the imperfections. It could just be that the lips need moving down just ever so slightly. And if we go to liquefy, I'll clean the um these the side of the lip here just needs taking in. And then move top of this cheek, move that in a bit. I think it's because this bit's throwing me off, but that bit, it's just, it's a hair in front of the head, because uh, the forehead would be up here like this. And I think this bit of hair might be throwing me off, so I might just leave that in there. Back to this, and I think this just needs pushing out a little bit. Funny how small things you can get um, uncanny valley and stuff. Yeah, I think maybe my eyes just a bit too big, and I feel like just just a wee. Come on, just a wee bit smaller actually. Looks all right. Maybe if we make that a bit smaller, we'll pull that eye down. Because that's where the bridge there is like that. There we go. And then sometimes that bit there is not quite as connected. I'll probably look up somebody's nose or something later and I'll sort of do a I still I think that nose is just really big and I don't I don't know. It's just you know, I just find something. Or do I just not need this? I need to look up a a thing on noses, I think. Or have I just done it? Crikey! I think I've done it. And just put a bit of shape at the end of my nose just to. so that I know. Yeah. But no, I think this line isn't quite feeling it. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that looks better now. This bit might need to go a bit wider. I don't mind if she's got a slightly crooked nose because it's, it's just character, isn't it? None of us are perfect. Now, this is like my fun bit. I'm going to start going into the hairs. I always end up getting carried away with drawing the hair, but oh, it's just so fun. There's just something about it. Just getting all the flicks and all the I know I just it's really fun and then this bit here is going to be a fun this is this hair is going to be fun because it's like a 
Ariel. Ariel. I've watched it all through my life, but and then it's like you find out actually you're pronouncing it wrong. But um Having some wispy bits. I like wispy bits. But I really wish one day they would do a new um, Treasure Planet film if it's like just an, an animated one or if it's like live action I don't know I would freaking love someone to do a new one Everyone's doing all right. It's Monday. Ugh, so you're probably all not feeling all right because I bet you we all don't want to go back to work. But I think this is why I've started doing this on a Monday. Because then I'm in a bit of a rut with work. So at least by having this to look forward to. It's, it's getting my passion back for art because I don't do too much drawing with what I do. So this way I can get back into it and it's the problem with if I try to do this on the weekend or say for instance do a live stream on a Friday or something like that at the moment because I'm you know, doing art or graphic design all day um, at work, my wrist gets really, um, really tight and then by Friday I just want to, you know, have sit down and have a pint or, you know, oh, that, you know, when you just look back and you go, oh, I kind of like that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that bit was fun. Because I really enjoy this sort of thing too. I wish I had a witch's hat that big. But, and I'm looking forward to one day having a better um, face cam. And then you guys can see me and it might be a bit um a bit more enjoyable to watch if you're seeing someone's face as well as um you know hands moving around on a the canvas it's one of those ones where i would be able to do it if i could get this screen viewable on there but alas at the moment windows and this ipad just aren't um communicating very well so who knows one day I'll get the setup going and this is now actually her body and there's a nice little curl just curling over but uh, it was actually it's, I walked over to my mum's to help them cook the um uh, the cake last night and you know when you're just walking along and you've got a really good song on and you just I don't know this is where I'm glad I'm a metalhead <laughs> I just felt <laughs> I felt like Ugh! <laughs> walking down like if only someone could listen to what I was listening to now well no because I'm going to be using my headphones but you know what I mean like if only people knew like I'm there 
something like, you know, in a tracksuit or what, well, I don't really do tracksuits, but, you know, I was there in my cosies walking over to, to my mum's and I'm just like, oh, I wish other people could hear. I think it's just so that other metal heads can hear me. <laughs> so we can, um, you know, band together more. I did see a really cute guy at um, the gym today. And I'm not quite that person that I think, one, I need to work on myself. I'm not worrying around with my body at the moment. And I know when... You know, some people don't judge you, but I think, you know, I wouldn't mind just getting a bit fitter and healthier to attract some people. But um, <laughs> I saw he had runes on his arm, so I did that whole... I've got runes going down my spine, you see. <laughs> I was doing that whole fangirl thing of like, oh, I'm just going to put my hair up so you can see, like, my spine tattoo and see that I, too, have um, <laughs> rune stones. I'm an absolute geek, but like, how do you start like dating in your thirties? I'm like, I just don't know how people meet people. Like, my ex is already with somebody, and I'm just like, I say already. We have been split up for um, six months now, I think. But it's like they're already with somebody, and it's like, how the how <laughs> how. <laughs> But then again, I've been working on myself, so, you know, getting, getting a few things sorted out. But yeah, so I was just check, messaging my, um, my Bezzy going like, oh, <laughs> fancy man. <laughs> But yeah, and I, I feel like again, I'm not going to go into detail or anything because you know, I respect his privacy. But for me, I can't jump from one person to another. It's I like to decompress and like you know get myself sorted before I. You always have baggage going from one relationship to another, but I just try, I want, I like to sort of like compartmentalise stuff before I move on, you know, try to be a healthy partner. Hands, how I hate thee. It's one of those ones, isn't it? You look at hands. All, well, you look at your hands all the time and yet you think, why are they so bloody hard? And it's like, you know, when you've drawn them wrong, but heaven knows how you can fix them. Like, I know the anatomy, it's just the execution, isn't it? But yeah, I've been... To be fair, I kind of enjoy chatting like this because I'm definitely going to add the drawing and the chatting. So I've been um, told by my therapist that um, I need to um, document the things that give me joy a bit more just so that I know when I am happy. <laughs> and I think I'm definitely going to add the... It's weird drawing in the chair because normally I'd be downstairs with a cat and all that. But I do enjoy coming up here and chatting. Well, I've kept it up for two weeks, huh? So we'll, we'll see if we keep it up for a year. <laughs> I don't even know if this is something that people are finding fun to listen to whilst you're doing whatever. Um... If you've got it in the background, I was thinking like it's that sort of time where it's like dinner time. So I don't know if um if anybody wants to say what it is that you know that they're like <laughs> why me? <laughs> Just because I'm wondering how you you're watching this. If it's like you. 
the hoovering, got it in the background, playing a game, background. Cool. Well, I hope my chatting a load of phone is, you know, helping you with your munchings. <laughs> Yeah, hands. At least I've made that a bit fatter. Can't remember actually. Was I putting? Wait, and at me. Wait, I was doing that. Fancy hand. So the big ones on top, and that's underneath. Okay. So, whew. so that needs to go like that. And then I think then that knuckle will come out like that, won't it? And then that goes there, but I just thought it's a good way to decompress and chat. Well, I guess I've been here for an hour now, so um, uh, I'll probably just call it there because sitting in a chair and drawing, and then you know, I'll flip you guys the the right way. Hold your horses, gravity. Oh, I thought I held down shift. I guess not. Ooh. Let's just do that. There you go. So, oh, well, it's been nice hanging out. Oh, and basically, you probably like this. My little, I've got my old kingdom collection going on up here with a random work award so you know I won't ring the death bell we're not quite there just yet in the <laughs> but yeah so um I'll probably f just sketch the rest of this up now and um, throughout the week I think my aim will be for um uh getting this done by uh by next week and then i'll show you a finished piece or something um but i don't know if whilst there's people here if we wanted to pick a a random word for next week so i think if i pick it out now then i've got a week to like brainstorm so i always like to have like two things going on so i can flip between the two so if i Lose inspiration or drive for one, I can go on to the other and, um, uh, you know, carry on sort of thing. So I don't know. Shake it. Shake for the pumpkin! Or if you've watched um, Blue Eyes Samurai on next week, pumpkin and peaches. <laughs> yeah, give it a little, little swish. So, okay. Drum roll, please. So, this is the word that I have to go with for next week. So, scratch. To be fair, looking through some of my old work last week, I think there might be an old picture that I might be able to do so that or it's going to end up being a cat because <laughs> it's scratch but yeah and plus I can now go and finish my pump can you tell I had a thing for the pumpkins this year I was just like that's it I'm, I'm delving into my basicness and I'm getting pumpkin drinks pumpkin cups and a pumpkin thing a uh, pumpkin art jar <laughs> oh and i've got a pumpkin um teapot but i haven't even drunk this tea so i don't think bringing a teapot would um add anything unfortunately but yeah it's been really nice hanging out with you guys again so 
I will see you next week. I think I had a few more people delve in and out. So I think I went up to a whole, whole seven <laughs> people viewing me at once. Oh my God, it's like a crowd. Um, but um, I do need to get the last one up to YouTube. I think I'm just going to output them and put them up as they are because I edit all day at work at the moment. I can't be bothered to edit again. So um, I think I'll just be doing these live ones and then um, posting them straight up to YouTube as like a, an archive thing. And then, yeah, <laughs> work and go part time or whatever. Or I have more drive, then I'll become pro. But little and often in it and do it because you want to, not because you need to. And yeah, so scratch is my word for next week so have fun snacking guys drink something if you haven't stretch if you haven't you know so i feel more about going so um yeah have fun stay safe yeah bye